What's happening, y'all? It's Dole. Hey, um, just showcasing my car today. Um, last video didn't work. Um, it is a 2010 Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution GSR, completely, you know, bare bones. Just uh, ready to put mods on today, actually. Um, let me just show you around here. This is coming on a day today, uh, actually. Um, when I, I found out Mitsubishi's folding in the um, all-wheel drive supercar market. Um, not, this is going to be the last Evo that they ever make. Is the, is the, uh, the 10. Not the 2010, but the 10. Um, probably make one more model a year and then that'll be it. So anyway, uh, I just went over uh, 3,600 miles on it. It's brand new, 2010. And uh, like I said, it's a GSR. Um, all I've done to it so far, I've got this this uh, shift knob that I bought on eBay. It's a uh, it's a you know a dealer option. It's a Rally Art um, billet aluminum shift knob. Um, that and the access port, <clears throat> the Cobb access port here. I had it Velcroed, double sided you know Velcro right here so I can get to it easy. This thing is awesome. Um, it's awesome for for tuning. You can actually uh, remap your ECU. Um, for performance, and then you can put it back to uh, to normal if you want. Um, but uh, Recaro seats; these seats are actually uh, pretty awesome, um, super comfortable. I don't know if uh, if y'all have seen some other reviews saying that they aren't exactly uh, all that great, but uh, pretty much the most comfortable seats I've ever sat in. Tons of room here in the back seat. Um, <clears throat> doesn't look like a lot, but you can easily fit two, you know, adults in there. Um, from the back here, so I'm not gonna show you guys my license plate, but there's the trunk. There's really not a whole lot of space. It's just uh, they had to put the uh, windshield wiper fluid and the battery back here to counteract the weight. Got a car cover for it there. Um, I'm putting a uh. A new exhaust on today, so that dual is going to be gone. Um, getting these actually put on today. Got a K&N um, intake system, and then a HKS uh, blow up valve with the uh, with the recirculation kit. <clears throat> the BOV there. This is the research kit. Um, that and a Tomei Xpreme test pipe cat back and uh, AMS downpipe so um, actually since this will be the last video of my engine looking stock I'm going to go ahead and show that as well let's see um, it's crazy that I'm actually going to have to take all these parts that are coming off my car and really put them in storage you know, carefully because they who knows, man, when I'm 40, if guys that are my age, when we're 40, might I end up wanting to uh, rebuild a car like this. It would be a classic. So There it is. That's the last uh, Evo engine right there. So I'm getting that replaced. The, uh, let's see here. the upper intercooler pipe here replaced because right now it's rubber. I don't know if you can see me squeezing that. Um getting that replaced and then the uh, this entire pipe is going to be gone including the uh, BOV here this is going to be replaced with the new intake uh, and it's going to have you know a place for this uh, math sensor and then uh, that's going to be replaced as well and it hooks right into this uh, ram air duct so from here this is going to stay and then this will all be different um, <clears throat> this vent actually does work for the ram air so you can see that hooks right up into um, this duct, so it's not just there for you know for looks. That and, and this duct here, um, so you can stick my hand up in there. That actually cools the turbo a little bit right back here. So anyway, um, this is my lady Olivia, <laughs> and uh, more to come when uh, she gets uh, all these mods put on. All right, see y'all.